A big event for women's basketball in the now not so distant future is the 2022 Women's FIBA World Cup, where WNBA and international stars alike will meet in Sydney, Australia to represent their home country and fight to claim one of the more prestigious trophies in women's basketball. Team USA will obviously come in as favourites, regardless of who's on their squad, but thinking about what their potential roster could be like gave me an idea. Paige Beckers of the Yukon Huskies, who has now wrapped up a crazy yet successful sophomore campaign, was instrumental to leading the Yukon Huskies to some unexpected postseason success after a year filled with drama and injury, cementing herself as one of the best players in the world at just 20 years of age and still being in college. Where she ranks in women's basketball lists is up for debate, but what is certain is she is amongst the best of the best. So. Why shouldn't she get the opportunity to play amongst the best of the best this September? That's what I'm here to argue today. In today's video, I'll be discussing my reasons for why I believe Paige Beckers deserves a selection to the Team USA squad for the upcoming World Cup and the major benefits her presence on this elite squad would provide, not just for her or the team, but for the tournament as a whole. Before we start, if you're new here and enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe. For more women's basketball content like this, I'd love to reach 3,000 subscribers, so all support would be greatly appreciated. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about Paige Beckers. Firstly, Paige Beckers should be selected to this prestigious group because simply, she's one of the best female hoopers in the world. There's an argument to be made that she ranks top 20 in the nation. And as she's certainly the best player in college basketball, or at the very least top three, it means the rest of her competition are professional athletes at the WNBA level. To have the opportunity to prove herself against the pros would not only be an amazing experience for her to develop her game to yet another extraordinary level, but also would be something that would intrigue fans globally and provide a spotlight to the tournament. Team USA is about taking the best of the best. America has dominated this sport for so long. So to exclude Paige Beckers potentially, when she could legitimately be one of the best there, doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So she definitely has to be considered to be selected to come down under. Also, Team USA, in the men's at least, from my memory, tend to select a college athlete to join the professionals for the tour even if it's just for the experience and mentorship that being amongst pros can provide. For example, in 2012, Anthony Davis went to the London Olympics with Team USA before even being drafted to the NBA. It only makes sense for the women's teams to do the same, and in my eyes, Paige would be a perfect choice for this selection. But why is she the best choice to go? What benefits will Paige provide Team USA and this tournament? Well, Paige is going to be a huge draw card for the events. As arguably the most popular young female baller, she's absolutely going to bring in more crowds, even down here in Australia. The slogan for the tournament is be at or be there, so FIBA and Basketball Australia are trying to pack the arenas as much as possible. Having an idol for many young female players and probably the most popular women's hooper at the moment there would absolutely boost attendance and ratings and really only do good things for showcasing the talent that not only the USA has, but every other country competing too. It's a ripple effect, and it starts with generating interest. And I think a great way to do that is to select arguably the best college player in the world to play. Like I said though, it wouldn't likely just boost attendance down here, it'd probably boost global viewership for the tournament too. Fans of the sport would obviously be interested to see Paige play in this new environment, and again in turn, that's going to create more interest for the tournament as a whole. Now look, there's obviously more ways for this tournament to generate a lot of interest than simply Team USA selecting Paige Beckers to play. I get that, but I still think there are such great benefits for bringing her along, even if it is only for the mentorship and experience that you'll get out of training alongside these great players. I want to see her play in person, there's a lot of NCAA W fans and UConn fans out here, so bringing a global superstar down should attract hundreds if not thousands to the games. Maybe I'm being optimistic when I'm saying that, but having a celebrity presence like Paige at the games 
can really only do positive things. Some may be concerned about Paige's eligibility after playing in a World Cup, but that shouldn't be a worry whatsoever. World Cups technically are amateur competitions, so Paige would not forego her college eligibility and be able to continue playing for the Huskies next season. The World Cup would essentially just be some extra preseason game action she's almost certain to benefit from. Now, while the idea of Paige coming to Australia is great, I do understand the reasons why she wouldn't be able to go more likely than not. She has suffered some serious injuries the past couple seasons and required surgery a couple of times too. So more intense basketball action in the preseason to her junior year may have a negative outcome. Also, the fact she's still in college may decrease the likelihood she's selected, even though that shouldn't really matter as I've discussed. Regardless though, I think the opportunity is absolutely there for Team USA and they should at least offer Paige a spot because ultimately she'll do amazing things for this tournament. Not a lot of people recognize that it's actually happening even down here in Australia. So bringing down such a high profile athlete is bound to do wonders for the tournament here and worldwide. Finally, almost no other player will bring the level of marketing and attention to this tournament that Paige Beckers would. She's one of the most exciting female hoopers out there with an enormous fan base of both UConn fans and simply fans of her game. An opportunity to watch her play against the best in the world, either in person or digitally if you don't live in Australia, something a lot of people that support women's basketball would love to see. Overall though, this is why I believe Team USA should consider selecting Paige Beckers to their 2022 FIBA World Cup squad. For one, it will majorly benefit the development of Paige, giving her the opportunity to play amongst the best of the best at one of the highest levels and be mentored by those players too. Also, with Paige being one of the best players in the USA, even though she's still in college, that should mean she isn't ignored for selection. I'm not saying she's a guarantee for selection, she's not a walk-on or anything, but to think that she's not even a chance to make the cut is disrespectful. Because I think it's pretty clear if she was able to, she would be a star at the WNBA level already. Ultimately, sport is entertainment, and I don't think there's no player more entertaining to watch in women's basketball currently than Paige Beckers. Again, I know there are risks, and if Paige doesn't like those risks, it's completely fair if she opts to sit this one out. There is no pressure for her to go, I just want to say that very clearly. But from my perspective, this is an amazing opportunity, not just for her, but for also Team USA and FIBA alike. But that will conclude the video. What do you guys think of this? What are your thoughts on Paige Beckers potentially playing in the FIBA World Cup? Does it make sense to you? And do you think there are more benefits than negatives for not only her, but Team USA and the tournament as a whole? Be sure to let me know all your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe. But with that being said, I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.